He was a remarkable player. He was lightning quick, wonderful reflexes, and it goes without saying for any champion, wonderful courage. Mel Willem was nine times best and fairest, a remarkable footballer for West Perth in a golden age of football in Western Australia. The first time I saw him, I was by oh, Jesus, this bloke's not bad. Now, I was only 17, same age as him. And we clicked. And we clicked for 17 seasons. On the bounce once again, Mel Winnett takes the ball, the sentiment for the Cardinals. They called us the Cardinal Twins. One's a madman, the other's a real decent, humble bloke. <laughs> Sends it back to the centre half forward position. And nipping in goes Winnett to take the ball. 27 minutes into the first quarter, Winnett will up here to the long drop kick. I think Mel loved the competition of finals. I think it brought out the best in him, because generally, in a golden age of sentiment, he was pitted against a very good player. He knew that going in, and I think he liked the responsibility of the game being perhaps in his hands to a certain extent, having to beat the player he was playing on. Well picked up there by Mel Winnett, playing a good game in the centre at the moment. He was 13 times in the best three for West Perth, best on ground in the 75 grand final that they won. He was consistently brilliant. I think that's the way to describe him. He goes up for spoil. Dempsey knocks the ball wide of the pack. An opportunity for women. He knew what I was going to do, and I knew where he's going to be. We didn't talk. We just knew, you know. Fair but fierce is a good way to describe Mal, I would say. He was tough, too, you know. He wasn't mansy pansy type of a right? He used to cop it. But he never retaliated. He just played his game. Carson's knock. Morris Rioli's missed it. Winnan sends West Perth deep into attack. Born and bred centre man. In those days they had the stab pass, and he just get out of the centre, hit him right in the guts every time. And he had one trait that few players have got, where they're running at full tilt and suddenly they can stop on a dollar coin, and the player chasing them goes past, and the players around them suddenly miss. Mal had that down to a fine art. I was in awe of him to a certain extent. You'd see kids running around with number two on their back, and he was a shining example for young blokes. Mel Wenham. Wenham weaving his way out of that pack, as you saw. Kicks it up towards the half-forward line. He was a much-liked player because of the way he played. I think it's fair to say that nobody would have denied Mel Wenham his success. They finally brought me mum down to watch us play in the grand final in 69. And I think she loved Mel Wenham more than she loved me. And I said, hang on, I'm your son. <laughs> she is so rapt to meet him, you know. Picked up again now by Stewart. Winnan grabs the ball again for his berth. Runs the centre half forward. Drop kicks it. He was a ball magnet. He knew where to be. And he was a very unselfish player. You know, he was just the all-rounder. You couldn't really fault him. It's all West Perth on that side of the ground as the mark is taken by Mel Winnan. Winnan goes with a long drop kick. It's a beauty too. He just did everything that was asked of him. And more. It was already inbuilt. You know, I used to just admire him for it. You know, where me, I was a lazy bastard, you know? <laughs> I was completely different to him. He's trying to get the ball away, but it goes to Whitten. He's got the ball over Gillespie at the moment. No, he covered himself with glory. Just one of those guys. Like, you know, once in a blue moon guys that come along. I was just happy to be in the same team as you. Chadwick arriving first on the scene. Whitten is there with him. Mel Whitten winning the day for the Cardinals. There goes his kick. As somebody who saw so much of Mel Wynn play, I've got to say, he thoroughly deserves his induction into the Australian Football Hall of Fame tonight. Think of it, nine best and fairest, quite remarkable. A great player and a gentleman, just the way we like our heroes to be. I'm very proud of him, actually, very, very proud, and, and rightly so. He, um, he deserves it.